praise the Lord, mightiest prophet of the Lord. Amen. Uh, my blessed daughter, uh, Pastor Sophie, well, uh, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me. Uh, today, the Lord Jehovah spoke with me just a few hours ago about this revival, the big revival that is consuming uh, the nations of the earth, the revival of the return to righteousness, the return to holiness, and to prepare the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah. Well, uh, in this conversation, the Lord, he took me to a place. There is a graveyard. I see one tomb buried and another tomb. So um, I, I think this other second tomb was not yet buried, but it's at the graveyard. And then the Lord resurrects. He resurrects a man, a young man, and he gets out of, I think the coffin may have been put in the tomb already. So he comes out, uh, out of the coffin, and he comes out of the tomb, and he walks away. But when I look at my right, I see another grave. However, on my left, I see this grave, uh, and it had been dug. And it's a young man. He's wearing brown clothes, brown, brown shirt. And he gets out of uh, the, this this coffin here, but they had laid the coffin. I see as if the coffin had been placed in the tomb already, and not yet, probably not yet covered. And he gets out of there and he walks away. Now the Lord is speaking about the resurrection of the dead church in a very relentless and consistent and persistent way. And we know that this is a tremendous highlight and climax of revival in the history of the church. And this is coming at a time when we are still handling, we are still celebrating and handling the resurrection of Mama Rosa. In fact, right now in Nairobi, as I speak, there's a very serious team that is working around the clock all the way, the whole day, whole night, almost 4 a.m. They are putting together the final documentary that is coming out today or tomorrow. Yeah, the powerful documentary with senior doctors on a tremendous wonder, a wonder on the resurrection of this woman in a stepwise way, a stun of this age. But the Lord has spoken with me on this day about resurrection of a young man. Again, I go to this place, and there's a woman there. They, they were, I, see, I see them grieving. And uh, on my right-hand side, there is this coffin and grave, tomb, it's dark. And on the left hand, uh, the left hand side, and on the right hand side, there is another tomb, but covered. The tomb on the right hand side is covered. The left hand side, as I came from there, but as I went, is on my right. This young man resurrects. He's wearing brown clothes, and he walks away. It's a tremendous thing to see him walking away, and uh, he staggers a bit, and he walks, and there's joy, and uh, it, it's, it's going to be a big time in the history of the church. So I see resurrection. Uh, the Lord has spoken with me. The Lord Jehovah, the God of Israel, the mighty God of heaven, the God that takes people to heaven, the God of our Lord Jesus, the Father of all nations, the Father of our Lord Jesus. He has spoken with me about resurrection that is coming. He sends me somewhere. He sends his servant somewhere. And I see uh, there are two tombs, one on the left, one on the right. And then uh, the one, one of them is already covered, the other not yet covered, and the young man comes out of the tomb. I it was fully covered that he just popped out, but it looks like on the coffin, when the coffin had been lowered, then he comes out of there wearing brown clothes. Uh, th there is going to be a big revival globally. The Lord is saying that this is the hour in which he wants to resurrect and revive the church. I have seen the Messiah coming. This is the messenger of the rain. He about whom it was spoken that I shall send my angel ahead of you to lead you to the promise. That even as I so I know him. I really know him. I have put my spirit in him, my name in him, and my glory in him. Please do not bring your rebellion to him, because I really know him. He will not forgive you. The Messiah is coming. Let the nations prepare. Let the church prepare in righteousness. The now know what to do. The message is all over the web. 
on how to prepare, how to adhere to righteousness, how to use these lenses of holiness to look at every scripture in Bible. The Messiah is coming. Shalom.